scientific researchers have found that there may be a physiological, biological reason why conservatives are conservative and liberals are liberal. This comes from behavioral and brain sciences. It's a very interesting paper and it does have, it is subject to this interesting um, way that they have different uh, researchers, scientific minds, mm -hmm. uh, peer commenting on this study, which we will get to in a bit. It. But uh, it did find that different people uh, are affected at the levels of personality, psychology, and physiological, physiological and genetics factors um, go into their political biases, which was interesting. Yeah. They specifically found that people who identified as conservative had a stronger negativity bi uh, bias, which means that they would uh, be more attuned to negative stimuli. And the examples they gave were a distressed face with a spider on it, an open wound with maggots in it, uh, a dazed individual with a bloody face. Gosh. Yeah. So, that's, yeah, that's, I mean, it's, it's, it's distressing. Yeah. But they found that the people that identified as conservative had a stronger negativity bi bias toward these images. They reacted more mm -hmm. to these images, um, which is interesting because when you can compare conservative ideology, uh, specific facets mm -hmm. including strong military, tough law enforcement, resistance to immigration, widespread availability of guns, seem to be uh, more oriented to threatening stimuli, which is a pretty interesting thing to go by. Because you would think, you know, this is a learned behavior. Yeah. But this, this research seems to indicate that there are some factors that are inside you already, pre-existing. It's, it's interesting to think about because then it, it makes almost a, you know makes sense of like where you're born the geographical location mm -hmm. uh, because we often talk about conservatives being in the south or the midwest and liberals being on coastal states so it's like you know how much does you know where you live and being born play into that so it's 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 an interesting research study uh to look into but it's i i don't you know i'd, I'd like to see some more evidence in this because you know i I was raised by liberal parents, but I also have a friend who was raised by very conservative parents, but they themselves are liberal, you know, because they, they moved out and had different interactions and different uh, experiences. So, you know, how much well, of, I mean, those, it's not yeah. necessarily yeah. purely no, biological. I know, I know, but I'm like, it's just, it's, it's just such an interesting concept. I, I would say maybe someone who has specific yeah. uh, tendencies or characteristics yeah. one way would possibly be correlated Th yeah. to this. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, if, if, yeah, okay. And then we did have a different uh, group of researchers weighing mm -hmm. in themselves. Uh, most of them agreed with these findings at least somewhat, yeah. uh, though some actually disagreed, which is fine, that happens a lot. Do you um, agree strongly? Do you agree moderately? <laughs> Do you disagree moderately? Do you disagree strongly? Um, the authors of this, including John Hibbing of the University of Nebraska, uh, went to an argument of an evolutionary need for these. So they, they specifically said that this negativity bias would mm -hmm. have been extremely useful in an evolutionary stance in the Pleistocene epoch, which was, I believe, 2.5 million years ago to 12,000 years ago. Oh, uh, so that would have been very helpful in this time, mm -hmm. at least from an evolutionary uh, perspective. But we're now in a different era. Yeah. clearly, and this might be not necessary for all human beings. We, it, it does have a, uh, a, a interesting implications, to yeah. say the least. So we're, we're born to have bipartisanship, is what? Well, I mean, what they're saying is maybe when we go on the grounds of debate, which is where I'm able to change someone's uh, point of view through rationale, yeah. through argument, this might be a very specific mindset that would be, this would I, not work on, this would be, in opposition to who this person is on a deep level. I would like to see how you could take this study and change the way of debate tactics and find if there's a better way to maybe appeal to that person on a way in which we can all maybe discuss a subject where we're not having to deal with uh, maybe the uh, innate born politics of something, our feelings, and maybe to reach a, a wider, like, let's talk about, you know, this without having to deal with what we're, uh, I guess, genetically born. Uh, it's an interesting under, uh, topic, yeah. the subject of, or the science yeah. of ideology, yeah. to be specific. And mm -hmm. I, there is a lot more research to be done. There is no be all, end all. But this is what this specific uh, study found. They also found that uh, liberals tend to be much more neurotic than oh, their that's conservative true. counterparts. <laughs> Uh, it's an interesting paper. I recommend you check it all out. Uh, audience, do you think there could actually be a specific mindset, a cognitive bias for and against uh, different political 
ideologies. Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.